Are you ready for summer? We are totally ready for summer here at Everyday Food, and we're starting off the summer right by making some delicious recipes this week. Today's recipe is a grilled pork tenderloin with a corn and avocado salad. Yes, I'm grilling inside, but you can definitely make this outside, and I encourage you to do so if you have an outside grill. First, what I'm doing is I've already cooked five ears of corn, and I'm removing the kernels from the corn. I seem to be having a hard time because I'm doing it in a bowl and I'm trying to avoid the sides of the bowl, which is probably not the best idea, but I don't want the corn flying all over the place. What am I supposed to do? I'm belatedly realizing that maybe the bowl method from removing the corn was not the best method. Once in a while, you just start something and you're doing it and all of a sudden you realize that maybe you should have done it a different way and it's too late. <laughs> I'm living with the decision I made. Maybe if you used a paring knife, it would be a little easier. All right, that's enough with the corn. Now what you need to do is chop up a jalapeno. This is a really big jalapeno. You may not want the whole thing, and you might want to seed it. You can remove the seeds if desired, which I'm going to do. I'm doing it for you. This is sort of a Mexican-ish dish, though I wouldn't say it's full-blown Mexican. And then mince it. This is not a very spicy jalapeno, so I am using the whole thing. You should definitely taste them to see how spicy they are, because there's a huge range of spiciness. Also a scallion thinly sliced, half cup of coarsely chopped cilantro, just a little chop, nothing too dramatic, a little bit of stem in there, no problem, extra flavor, one lime, just squeeze it right into the bowl. You can make a separate salad dressing if you want, but why bother? Two tablespoons of olive oil, and then one avocado sliced. Just cut it in half. Remove the seed and then slice into your avocado right in the skin in your hand. And then scoop it out with a spoon and it'll come out in nice slices. And if your avocado is perfectly ripe, it won't mush. It'll be beautiful. Look at that. And that's your salad. You just need to season it. A little bit of salt. All right, that's good. Now you just make a little rub for your pork tenderloin and you'll be ready to eat in like, I don't know, 10 minutes. Start with one teaspoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of coarse salt, one teaspoon if you're using fine, don't over salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons of olive oil. And this is gonna just get rubbed over your pork tenderloin for a nice little flavor. I'm gonna put it over here. I have two pork tenderloins that I'm cutting into one inch pieces, and then they're gonna be pounded about a half inch thick. Oh wow, these are huge. <laughs> So big, usually they're so small. These are nuclear power plant uh, porks. <laughs> Just turn them on their side because you're gonna press them to flatten a little bit. Place a piece of elastic wrap on top. Press each piece to about a half an inch thick, which is extremely easy. Immediately they turn into little cutlets. No special tools required except plastic wrap. And then as you can see, ta-da! Perfectly nice little medallions. And then you wanna brush your rub over each side. You can also make these with pre-made cutlets. You don't have to make your own. Once both sides are brushed with the rub, you're ready to grill. I have my grill preheating on a medium high. Because my grill is really nicely seasoned and there's oil on these, I feel like I can put them right on the grill. If your grill isn't seasoned well, make sure you brush it with a little bit of oil. And then let them sit here and cook until they easily lift off and then turn them over and cook the other side. These need to cook for about three to four minutes per side for medium in the center. Trust me, you do not want to overcook your pork. Otherwise, it will be dry and tasteless and cardboardy and disgusting. Cardboardy is a word, by the way. So a little tiny bit pink in the center for pork is actually really perfect. I know, it's not what we've been told our whole lives, but 138 in the center. So if you want to use the thermometer, it's to be 138 and you will be completely safe and completely happy because it will be so delicious. I like to serve a little bit of lime squeezed over the top of my pork when I eat it, so I'm gonna cut up one more lime. This is a tiny lime. Alrighty. Yeah, baby. Nice and firm, that means it's done. That one's a little squishy, I'm leaving that one on. All right. Serve. A little bit of salad. You could put this on a platter too if you want. That would be a really nice presentation, but I'm just gonna serve myself because I'm greedy. A little bit of lime and a few pork medallions. 
squeeze a little lime over the top of your serving and sit back and relax because summer is officially here. And the eating is easy, or at least it should be. Easy for me. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.